What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you something a little different. So I was honestly just thinking of content to make, and I decided what I would cover is the very first game I ever, at least intentionally, got 100% on, since I often do reviews after 100%, and you would be forgiven for thinking that game would be a CRPG, as I cover CRPGs pretty extensively, but no. That game was none other than Song Fra. Tales of Werewolves. So, this is a weird tower defense third person hybrid sort of game. And if you're unaware, in like the 2000 ish era, tower defense games were very popular, especially browser based ones on sites like Congregate, which I believe is actually no longer a thing. And given how incredibly poor I grew up and homeless at one point, actually, free games that I could play on like school computers and things were obviously very appealing to me. So fast forward a few years when I'm getting on my own and this game actually released in, I believe it was, God, 2013? Alongside uh, other similar games in concept, actually, like, say, Orcs Must Die, for instance. That's a franchise that does this sort of thing. And it's a small wonder that I was, you know, interested in it at the time. And it is definitely an indie game by every account. I actually think the studio that made this game is no longer in business, even. And because of that, if I'm not mistaken, this game is actually free on Steam now. But the gist of it is that your sister Josephine has actually been possessed by the devil. And you play one of her two brothers, either Jack or Joss, and you need to protect your house and family while this gets dealt with. And ultimately, I think it culminates in a fight with the devil, if my memory serves, though honestly I'm not about to play through this whole thing to verify that. But basically, it's a standard tower defense, you know, there will be waves of enemies, you set up your defenses, which come in the form of like traps and stuff that your character can set up and interact with. Once you get at a certain point in game, you can actually go to town, have your weapons blessed, which is important against enemies like, you know, werewolves, as you might imagine, but also demons that come in later in the game. There's also a level up system, which is based on how many of the knight's objectives you had actually cleared. And then you can use your level ups to invest skill points that will help you do various things. And overall, for this weird like mix of indie tower defense sort of game, it was just really fun. And I'm actually really fond of werewolves as well. So I remember buying this game and just having a blast with this just weird indie title that I really enjoyed. And while it's definitely meaningless to most people, this game was like a weird jumping off point for my interest into like video games properly once I had gotten out on my own in the world. So I always remember it fondly, if nothing else. And I just kind of wanted to share a short video with you guys about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.